say hello people of the internet. Keep that up. You gotta stay warm. She loves to be naked. Well, she's wearing a diaper, but she doesn't like to wear clothes, do ya? You don't like to wear clothes. And she just woke up from a nap. Alright, I was over there editing the vlog to go up today. I'm all on my own over here. But that's okay, it's normally how it is. On the Saturday mornings, isn't it? Isn't it? Yeah! You're so happy. You're so smiley. Hi. Hi. You're so happy. Ready? Peekaboo! Oh my goodness, I love that face. Heard a toot. You just tooted. Guess who gets to dress you this morning? Guess who gets to dress you? <laughs> oh, what? You're gonna be upset? You don't like that I get to dress you? So what are you feeling today? Are you feeling like a like a polka dots or a stripes or maybe some turtles, flowers? What are you thinking? Which one do you like best? <laughs> you gotta tell me. You got a point. Point to which one you want. Okay, now we're gonna find you some pants. Where do I even find these pants? I don't know, what are you thinking? Like, like some of this, some of this. Ooh, we can go super stripey. Hey, you don't like these options? Why don't you like these options? Obviously, this one's a little whiny, so she's gonna take a nap before she gets dressed, aren't you? Here, let's let's show them how we put you in the the sleep suit. Ready? Ready? Now you, you gotta snap your fingers and you'll you'll pop through it. Okay? Ready? One, two, three. That was very okay. that was very good. Okay, it's bedtime now. Let's go get some sleep. So Revlin woke up from her nap and I I finished dressing her finally. This is a nice outfit. Oh yeah, that mixed print is real good. This is the outfit that I picked out and it's very nice. <laughs> she is very nice. So thank you daddy for dressing me. Well, she loves it. That's all that matters. Well, wait till you see the other outfits I had picked out that she could have worn. This is the best one, okay? Okay. You just need to trust me. We're on a walk. And these two, Daisy, what are you doing? These two kept going to pee on everything, so they're on short leashes now. And Revelyn's just enjoying their time, huh? Like so. Is it fun? Are you having fun? She is. I was just standing there enjoying the breeze, and look at Revelyn. Look at that. That breeze is so nice. Yeah, it is. Real nice. What are you guys sniffing? I know the dogs pee. Come on, guys. Let's go. So we just saw like a beaver or something. It just popped up. Right there. Oh, went back under. Yep, we brought this thing out. You want me to turn the light off? So we're gonna see if she will take a nap right here in the living room because the dryer's on and so it's like super hot, humid, hot and humid. I think there's something wrong with the dryer, but so uh, we're leaving in a month, two weeks actually. She brought it out here. She'll see if she'll sleep. We just went shopping and we haven't filmed, I don't think we're out. Well, we got a whole, whole trunk full of groceries. And Revelyn was really good. She got a little cranky at Target and then fell asleep and then since she woke up from that, she's been good. Now she's just chilling. You good girl. So we're gonna go home now, put all the groceries away, make some dinner. Yes. Yum. Hungry. We also ordered um, the NatureVac snack box. Like, um, Colin and Katie have 
like a code to get the free snack box or whatever. So we used theirs and it actually came with a good amount. They had a full size of these which are delicious. And then it had these four like little snack trials. Cranberry medley, jalapeno cashews, Parmesan garlic pops, and sweet blueberry almonds, which Ryan will have to eat because I can't have almonds. Uh, but it actually, I was surprised it came with as much as it did. And they really are good. Like I always see like YouTubers eating them. You're okay, baby girl. You're okay. I always see YouTubers eating them. And when they try them, they're like, oh my goodness, this is delicious. And now I see what they mean. So we're home now. Uh, well, we've been home for probably about two hours. Uh, we made some dinner. So just got some ground beef, some rice, avocado. Pepper, onion, lots of garlic. Yeah, that's all in there. And then, got and some... then I made like a veggie side. It is currently quarter to 11 and we're finally eating dinner. <laughs> Look at our pretty fridge. Look how pretty that is. It is Sunday morning. Well, Sunday, definitely not morning. <laughs> But we're at my parents' house. You took a nice long nap, didn't ya? Hey, hey pretty girl. Hey. He's holding tight, my goodness. Seven, the blue, blue three, three, please. Aw, oh, so blue close. Blue three, blue three. So we finished the two games of Settlers. Dad won the first one, Ariane won the second. We, as we were putting stuff away, we were looking at, um, one of the boxes for one of the older editions that my parents had. This one, like the original Settlers. And that's where they just keep all the spare pieces. And we pulled it out and we were looking, hey, we could take this extra border that isn't ever used with my parents' edition, and we can take the extra pieces, just throw in our land, and there we go. We've got a new, better looking board. Right, doesn't this look so much more pretty than the ugly blue, light blue of this. Yeah, I didn't like that. I mean, look how much nicer this looks. So much better quality. Get it, Daisy. Daisy, take it. <gasps> Daisy, come. Bit more of a challenge now, Daisy. He's gonna hurt you. Scratch me. Get it. Oh, are you okay? You totally just whacked your jaw on my arm. So, while we were at my parents, we were just talking about um, different events that are happening soon. And we realized that we're basically like having family parties the next three Sundays, basically. Because next Sunday is uh, Mother's Day, and so my parents are having all of us kids over, and all of us kids. Us two kids in our families, and then all the mothers of our spouses are invited too, and my grandparents are coming down, so it's gonna be a big old party, and then that'll be fun. So that's next weekend, and then the following weekend is um, baby dedication for Revelyn. Huh, you're, it's your baby dedication. It's just for you. Mm -hmm. You're cute. So then we're basically having a party at Tim and Tammy's house, and even more of their families coming down. And then the following weekend, we're going down to like Peoria, for a family picnic mm -hmm. for my dad's side of the family. That's the next three Sundays. So basically, and then two weeks, well, less than two weeks, we get the new apartment. And then we're gonna have both apartments for two weeks. So we can, it's not gonna have to be like move in one day, which will be nice. But we've got like a ton of packing stuff we gotta do basically every weeknight because we're gonna be, be busy every weekend. <laughs> So I don't know if you guys have noticed the air conditioner on. It's so loud. But we're gonna have central air in our new apartment, so I'm really excited. But basically I had to get the camera out because we have packed, guys. We've gotten a lot done. Yeah, like that cabinet, middle cabinet's completely empty. This, I only kept like the very bare minimum of what we need. Cause we have like three sets of these and like three sets of these and yeah. So he's like emptying out that. And for the next two weeks, not a single person can complain that our apartment is a mess because we're moving. So, ha to you, Miss Hater, or Mr. Hater, Mr. Hater Potato. <laughs> we're moving, so my house can be a mess. It's an excuse. But look, we got all our bakeware is all in here packed. We got all this. 
We got some garage sale stuff. So we're doing like a combined garage sale with Katie and Mitch and us and Ryan's parents. So yeah, we have a lot of stuff. A lot of bakeware because we got so much from our wedding and we're actually selling our Keurig with like the make your own K cups and a bunch of K cups. Because we don't drink coffee and so when we heat up water for, for stuff, like those K cups are lemonade but we still never really use those because we just buy lemonade. And if we heat up water for anything, we just put it in the microwave. <laughs> it's easier in the microwave. Yeah, it's less a lot time faster. And it's just less to do. Oh, Ariana's yeah. just taking a I short break and Daisy's oh, saying hi. She's being a little cutie, ain't ya? Hi. We tried to get her to poop on the toilet because she hasn't pooped. And she did a little bit, but she still has lots to get out, huh? Don't ya? They love you so much. Dad Ars, are you gonna say hi? You can give her kisses? You can give nice kisses. No? You wanna give Flutterfam kisses? Kisses? Oh good girl. So we have a ton of footage from this weekend. I think I'm gonna have like an hour of footage at it. So we're gonna end the video pretty quickly. So yesterday's question or two days ago question of the day was if you had to choose between being a baby the rest of your life or being the age that you currently are now for the rest of your life, which would you choose and why? Initially, I think like being a baby again and not having to worry about anything would be awesome because it's just like someone takes care of you and feeds you and changes you and you just don't have to worry about it. <laughs> but I really like the age that I am now and I wouldn't mind being 22 the rest of my life. Like that doesn't sound bad. I think I could deal with that, but there is like part of me that's like being a baby and not having to like worry about bills and all that kind of stuff. That would be nice too. But I have to choose being 22 for the rest of my life. I would agree. I'm feeling 22 right now. <laughs> I'm feeling 22. But really, I don't like the responsibility, like the adult, you got to do these things type things. Mm -hmm. That stuff's no fun. But you have so much more freedom as at the age I am now than I would as a child. So, yeah. 22. So uh, our answers are 22 because we're feeling 22 like Taylor Swift. All right, today's question of the day comes from Linda McIntyre. And her question is, who was the one teacher in school who made a difference in your life and why? Ooh, that's a good one. Make sure you let us know in the comments down below what your answer is. Hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. And we'll see you guys tomorrow as always. Bye. Winding along this road